Hey everybody, welcome to uh, this live stream. And hey everybody, welcome to uh, this live stream. And uh, you're in the live stream room here. This is actually in the writing place where I write my songs in uh, above my garage. That's where we are right now. It's where I am. And we're in the world of just Zoom and, uh, you know, connected through the, the world of the internet. So that's what we're gonna about to do. And I mean, thank you guys for joining in. And we're gonna just chat about this record, Chris, the Chris Tomlin and Friends. You're gonna you're gonna see the friends and hear the stories behind, like how this all came to be, and all these amazing friends that you're about to encounter, and just the God story behind it. And I hope that you're encouraged um, as you hear this and to see how just God has done this. You truly will. I think when you leave this conversation, I, I'm. I'm thinking probably how these stories are going to go that you're going to be very encouraged by, um, by this and I hope your faith is um, strengthened and man, just uh, thank you guys for tuning in as, as, as more and more of you guys are joining us. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and hearing the stories behind this. I cannot wait for you to hear the, the songs and I can't wait for you to hear the stories of how this all, all came to be. So here we go. Hey everybody. Chris here, and I'm going to introduce my buddy Corey Crowder, who is a legend. You're about to find out, but um, we're going to talk to a lot of artists who are on this album and just kind of talk about how this process started, how it came to be, the surprise record of my life for sure. Um, and this guy above me um, made it happen and uh, in, a, in an incredible way. Uh, God connected us, and he's got an incredible gift of writing of, of songwriting but also producing so if you love the way it sounds it's uh and which i do and everybody who's heard it does Corey is the one who's made this happen so thanks Corey, for joining me and like hosting this with me and connect and and it's gonna be so fun to talk to everybody you know who's on this record dude thanks for having me what a journey man <laughs> right. I can talk to these guys it's gonna be funny and girls <laughs> i know it's gonna be great so hope you guys enjoy this uh live stream and we'll uh uh, and I think you're going to love to hear the stories, a lot of the stories of how this came to, and how all of us are connected in, uh, in, in, a, in a crazy way and all the full circle of this whole record. And um, yeah, so here we go. Um, I, I thought I'd just kick it, you know, by and when people, when other people come on, we'll just connect with them too. But um, just, yeah, just by starting this, this conversation, how this thing, how this thing got rolling, you know, and uh just kind of telling the story and then some of the backstories of what, what we've been able to do and connect. And, um, what, and if you guys need to jump off just at any time, just put, please, Hey, just say, Chris, we're jumping off. Cause, um, you won't hurt my feelings, but, um, yeah, yeah. uh, this is awesome. So uh, Tyler, I'd love, I'd love to, since, uh, others on here, you and I've talked about it a lot and then, and then with BK and just, um, how crazy this is, right. That, I mean, this this whole idea. Uh, when I was thinking about last year, when I was thinking about 2020, right? It's the it's the it's the surprise year of all, of all of our lives. I mean, in so many ways, right? The whole year yeah. has just been like none of us saw any of this coming. What what is happening in our worlds, and especially for me, musically making this record. And I'm thinking about it May in May of last year, May of 2019. My tour finishes. I'm going to the beach and for a vacation for the with the family down to Nashville South, 30A. And <laughs> right, <laughs> and so going down there, and I go to work out one morning, and Tyler's in the gym, and I like, man, recognize that guy. I like that guy. I want to say hello. Walk up, Tyler. What's up? This is my uh, Chris Tomlin, and it started. <laughs> it started the trajectory of this record, and uh, just connecting of like in a special way of like, and of how you know, God really put things together and divine what I thought was just a simple conversation, you know, turned into, I remember Tyler and I talking about, you know, I love when I love, Tyler won't speak for you too much, but I just, I've told people in interviews now forever, but you know, when the first thing you're like, I said, Hey man, Chris Tommy, you're like, seriously. I was like, yeah. And he's like, bro, this is full circle of my life. I started, I was listening to you when I was in eighth grade and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> eighth grade. What's up, Chris Lane? What's up, bro? Join us. Let's say Lane. Hey, man. Thank you on you. So we're just, um, 
so you know i remember you saying oh bro I, you know <laughs> and i was like oh gosh and we're talking about you know just the music and what your kind of your story your backstory and he said and uh and in and, and connecting and and then here we are right and just i i i'd love for you to tell a little bit about like like your your story in this and like what you were in high school and, and doing worship and all that kind of stuff and I mean, for me personally, like I told you that day, you know, you, you were a huge impact in me learning how to play music, learning how to play guitar, learning how to sing. I, I mean, I literally learned how to sing to worship songs on stage in church. And, and the same for BK. We actually sang together. The majority of the songs we sang when we started singing together were worship songs for youth kids. You know what I mean? And so after we met, I remember kind of like, all right, well, cool. Well, good to meet you. And then we kind of went back to working out for a second. I was like, holy cow, like, he seems really cool, and I'm going to go ask him if he wants to go on a bike ride after this. <laughs> so we like, <laughs> so I was like, this can't just end with this. I mean, I know he probably writes songs. Let's write songs. I'm already like, let's let's do some music together. Yeah. So I'm like, in in true 30A form, we go on a bike ride. We end up uh, sitting on the beach on a, at a beach bar uh, just dreaming of music and and talking about our musical lives and our careers and our past and where we want to go and our dreams. And, you know, one thing kind of led to the next of, well, dude, let's write some music together. You got to meet BK. You got to meet Crowder. We got to like, let's do some stuff together. Um, and then yeah. me, I think God took over. I just think from there it was like, okay, let's just see what door opens. And I think, I mean, I think God was in control the whole time. Uh, the fact that I was, that we were both in the gym. We were the only two people in the gym at the beach. I mean, what are the chances we're working out at the beach anyways? <laughs> but, uh, anyways, like, I just think the whole thing is really, really wild, the whole journey, and then how the whole puzzle was put together after that. And and one, and it was super organic, and it went from just a couple of songwriting sessions to, hey, let's put out a song. Well, let's put out three songs. Why don't we just, why don't you just do an album and why don't we just bring a bunch of people in, friends of ours, country music artists, and let's do something special outside of your world a little bit. And something that we all, because I knew as much as BK and I had been impacted by you and your life and your music, a lot of our, our friends have as well, you know, and our other artist friends. So, you know, I felt like it would be a no brainer and it'd be super, just a fun project, you know, and it really turned into something even bigger than, than I could have imagined. And I'm super grateful for, you know, us all having the courage and the bravery to, to kind of follow the lead here and let the Lord work a little bit. I think this is the most special project we've ever done. We've ever been a part of That's, I mean, we still listen to it every single day. Our kids dance in the living room every single day. Yes. And, and then we almost cry every single day and then we worship every single day. It's just a really special, special project. And with each song and each collaboration, how it just unfolded throughout the process was just like, basically, thank you, God. And here we are. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let you lead the way. Yeah. And you know, um, I'm really thankful. And I'll quit talking so much, but I'm really thankful just for the music community. I'm thankful for Nashville. I'm thankful for everybody on this project and being willing to be a part of this project. But um, just just overall, I'm thankful to have a community that, of people that love Jesus and love music and are down to think outside the box and get creative. And, um, you know, I think this is the reason why we all do music in the first place. So really, really special. And I'm really, really proud of it and proud of CT and proud of everybody. Man, kudos. I mean, I, I, I just can't say enough um, about uh, Tyler, that meeting and like, um, and just, I, I think, you know, the, right after that, you're like, hey, I want you to connect with BK. And I remember calling up BK, saying, man, I'm down at the beach. And we're like, uh, let's go to, um, let's go to Turingos and have some lunch. And yeah. sit there and start talking the same thing. And start talking the same language that you guys are talking. And it turns into this vision of not only just making some songs. When you think about collaboration, most records, let's be honest, when you think about collaboration records, it's like, I wrote some songs, I got some famous friends that can sing the second verse mm -hmm. and I don't even see them. They sing it, they email it in, 
and um, you know, don't even connect with them really. That's the way a lot of collaboration has gone. And you guys know that by just let me look at this Zoom, this thing was done together. I mean, in an incredible way. And yeah, with Tyler and you and BK saying, hey, not yeah. only do you want <laughs> yeah, there's something there. <laughs> um, together. Um, but like not, but Tyler, you and BK say not only do we just, hey, I think this is cool, we'll write a couple of songs and sing a couple of songs, see what happens. But I remember from the start, like, let's do this together. And I mean, Tyler, you and BK being in being in the room, being in the studio on songs that you didn't write and didn't sing on, but just like, hey, we're, we're, we want to be in there and, and help shape this and form this. You have no idea. Um, the, obviously the influence you guys have and just the, uh, you have in the music world, but just open it up and saying, you know what, we're, we're, we're pouring our entire hearts in this. It's not like we're just lending our name to something on a song. It's like, this, this is our hearts. And I think that comes through and I think people are going to be floored when they they hear the hearts behind behind you guys and i i'm really grateful i'm really grateful for that day at Tringos, bk <laughs> man to, to be a part of this album it, it's a it's a project of a lifetime I, I think i speak for tyler Corey, and everybody else on this call and part of the album i mean this is it's more than full circle it's just all part of god's plan and it's just uh it's pretty wild man just super i, I left the project i think more inspired by music and by everything that went down than going into it. I mean, I felt like we were on fire for music and the Lord when it started, but just watching the whole album take shape and being, um, you know, being available for that to happen, adding songs, cutting songs, trying to better songs. So just, man, just blown away by your friendship, your brotherhood, your artistry and your craftsmanship. I mean, from your voice to your ideas and everything, man, you're just always up in your game and iron sharpens iron and just super grateful for all the people that were placed on this album and just it just happened so natural like yeah you kind of you kind of you kind of didn't really even have to try you know it's amazing how organically it started shifting right and we'll yeah we'll, so we'll get into that so our first my first uh song we I, tyler's like i want you gotta meet crowder man you gotta meet crowder and and i was like okay so let's connect and um and we connect and so me and Tyler and Corey Crowder walk into a room and I don't never we've never written a song together at all. And I'm I'm in a I'm like kind of like a, a little bit like a little bit nervous because I'm like this is not my wheelhouse, this is what these guys do every day. And and I'm fired up though because this is what I've dreamed about like for a long time, being in the rooms with some of you guys and writing songs because I love country music so much, but it's never been the path for me because God had a completely different path for me, but like um, I was, I was so excited. And then we wrote this song, Gifts from God, and the very first song. And I remember just thinking, the demo. We made a demo that day, and Corey, I, I, for all the people who I'm inter who don't know Corey Crowder, here's the deal: you write a song, and by Ooh. three o'clock in the afternoon, you've got a demo that sounds, it sounds unbelievable. It's like a Banger. whole, it's, it's done. It's like are you kidding me? I mean, I'm, I'm driving home going, this morning, this did not exist. And I'm in my car, like, just like, are you kidding? This is like so sick. Yeah, yeah. It was so fast and it was so fun. Corey's like, man, I got this idea about gifts and about God being, uh, you know, these gifts from God that looking back, you thought, you know, you didn't think they were gifts. And, but looking, but now, now seeing 2020 in hindsight, you're like, wow, man, man, God had something better for me. What I thought was good. God had something better for me. And, all, wow. the, all those gifts that money can't buy, right? And all those things. We're having this fun. Tyler does this. Tyler is on this um, demo, and I'm thinking, this is this is sick. And so when we start going to make a record, um, with Tyler's like, well, you know, I, I'd love for me and BK to sing on every song, but I don't think that's going to work. Um, <laughs> 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 so he goes, I, I said, who do you think could do this? I mean, you're, you're I mean, your your music is so Tyler's voice obviously is so cool, and everybody is so recognizable. And it was already in my mind, like, right? And he's like, dude, I got the guy, Chris Lane. And he's like, Chris Lane will destroy this song. And I know Chris, and Chris has his heart, man, the same heart that we're talking about, to be a light to the world, to shine a light to the world, and to really, uh, he wants to bring glory to God with his life. And I think he'd be perfect for this. And then Chris comes in, and now I can't hear it any other way. I mean, it is like, put it on there, and so thank you, Chris, man. Thank you for Chris, joining Chris us. Chris came in and absolutely ruined the song. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 
<laughs> Honestly, an unbelievable song. And uh, I am so thankful for all of you and BK and Tyler. I mean, those guys have had, from the very beginning of my career, when I first moved to Nashville, I owe a massive portion of my career to them because they took me on tour when I had no music out, no songs going. Uh, and then years, I mean, I've probably been on what, two or three tours with you guys. And, yeah. and uh, I mean, genuinely two of the best guys I've ever met. And um, I am so thankful that they, Tyler called me randomly. I was in the gym. Uh, I was playing a show in Maryland that day and I was in the gym when he called me yeah. at Fitness in Maryland. <laughs> and, uh, asked me to be a part of this song and I listened to it obviously loved it um, so much and then for you Chris just to just to be a part of this project and to uh, get a chance to meet you and uh, hang out and tell my dad's uh, Sunday school teachings Ryan and Tyler probably heard me tell that, those stories <laughs> from time to time but I had such a great time that day and, and again I'm very very grateful to be a part of such a powerful project and it's honestly coming out at the the best time it could have ever i, I think totally come out yeah. in, in in the world that we're living in now so i can't wait to uh see god's power and to see what uh it, it does yeah and that's so beautiful um you know as this thing has evolved like and started like i i, I, I say it like this i feel like it's been a river that we just got in and the current's taking us and it just keeps winding and oh okay let's follow it down this way okay now we're going down this way that river is like that current like you know god's current like is just taking us and we're just and i love it because you just get in there and you're just like okay where are we going and as it started taking shape i thought man i would love to have uh um my friends uh hillary and dave and charles on this because i, I i've known hillary and dave for quite quite a while i i've known charles a little bit but i knew dave and hillary a lot and I was thinking okay this would be awesome so you know Lady A on the record let's do it and I, I, I remember sending you guys a couple songs and I'm gonna just gonna they're so polite Dave is so kind and Hillary's so kind and there was just so these kind emails back saying these are pretty good but um you know just kind of like um what if we I like kept saying what if we write one together in other words try again and um <laughs> 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 in other words try again and they kept saying what if we write one together let's write something together so I said, oh man i'd love to write something together that'd be amazing we've never done it so go to dave's room right where dave is in that vibey place he's in right now um, right on that sofa right there yep who you uh, are to me i think is the song that christened that room didn't it dave yeah, that was the that first was the first, uh, song. first song what? i've ever written in this room yep yeah. yes <laughs> yeah that's incredible we started right there Sitting in that, on that sofa, I remember, and I remember Charles walks in and just immediately just sets the tone uh, for this song. Dave had this little vibe going, and, and you, guys are, you guys remember this, probably tell it better than me, but I remember Charles saying, um, you know, uh, I think about, when I think about faith, when I think about, I, you know, for so many, he said for myself and so many, he just got really personal and vulnerable quick. And he said, for, for me and, and for so many people, I think of God as these stories of the past, these Sunday school Bible stories, you know, of the past that you hear, you read in the Bible as a kid. And he goes, and, you know, I've been through some hard days in the recent years and been through some, and I remember him just pouring his heart out. And I was like, okay, wow, this guy's for real. And he said, I've been, this is real. And he said, I've been in hard days. And he said, and God, I found God in a real personal way. And God met me in a very personal way. It became something more than just words on page something into my life and these words right some people think you're distant just some words on the page you're nothing more than fables handed down along the way but I've seen you part the waters when no one else can pull me from the deep that's who you are to me and just set off on this song Oof. we were off to the races man mm. yeah it was gosh what a special day and and I think you know to echo the full circle feeling of I mean Several years back, I think back in, um, I think it was April of 2017, Chris, you had invited me out to sing Thy Will at the Good Friday service in Nashville. And I was so nervous and honored to be there. And, and just that was kind of the beginning of, of our friendship. And um, 
and just dreaming truly of the day that, that we could work together. And, and I honestly, I wasn't sure if it would ever be Lady A and Chris Tomlin, but I hoped that there would be some kind of collaboration at some point. And just the way that it all unfolded was just so just divine intervention and just how God had worked in so many different ways to get us to that point. And it was just such a beautiful day um, and a song that, that really poured out so fast. I mean, it was one of, I think the fastest rights I've had in a really long time um, of just feeling, feeling it. And, and one thing that I wanted to say to you, Chris, is just as we were, you know, writing it and crafting it together, your wisdom and just, I could watch you just thinking through prayerfully going, okay, how does this, like, who is the, who is God, all of his names, all the things that he is. And, and always kind of bringing our songwriter tendencies back to, okay, now, but who is he here? He is the, he is these things. This is what scripture says he is. And, and it just helped just steer us because writing worship music is so out of, you know, the norm for us. Um, and so it was just such a, a lesson. It was such a lesson in crafting a song that is truly in worship to our Lord. And so I just thank you for that. Um, just getting to go to school that day, um, and learning so much about it and, and just, um, now just seeing the, the connection that it's making with, with the listeners and, and that the Lord's just working and, and, this and you shared a couple of songs and then I'll stop talking um, Keep going. with us that day. And just to watch you, you were so, you're so excited about this album and it is like infectious. I mean, I felt it. And then when you played me the couple of songs that you shared with me, I was like this God's fingerprints are, I mean, all over it. I just had goosebumps, just like that Holy, Holy spirit goosebumps. And um, this is an honor to be a part of. And, and again, I'm with Tyler. Like we listen to the songs every single day. My girls dance around the kitchen and it's just precious. And, um, it's becoming a part of the soundtrack of, of our life right now and, and will continue to be. And it's really, um, it's an honor. Yeah. They're so, it's so awesome. I remember Hillary, you were like at the very end of the song, we had the song kind of written, you know, like I kind of want it, I, I, I say this a lot because I, I want people to know this about you. I say in interviews, I was like, you know, you may think that last chorus that it, when it just goes to um, your greater, higher, over it all, you may think that's just like my DNA, but that was Hillary saying, I, I just want to go to the one more place where it just goes to higher, pra- like just all praise. Like we've seen mm. simple things, but let's take it one more place. Let's take it one more. Let's just go one more place. And, and, that, and when it gets to that part, every time on the very last part of the chorus, I just I get chills because I'm thinking about being in that room, sitting on that sofa behind Dave right there, and just that 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 just high praise place. And so I I loved just the our this whole record, right? It's this our DNA, all the smashing up the genres and saying who cares about any of that? Let's just write songs and what is it, is it country? Is it worship? Who knows? What who knows what it is? It's just bringing glory to God. And and Dave, you're in it, man. And just you know walk it here you mean you and Corey produced this song together and just the way you guys uh you know I mean I remember you just like in the studio like I'm, I'm gonna play all the guitars I'm gonna, I mean just like in it like bringing all your genius and strings and and I mean it started with you with that little track and just having that thing and I just well, love we're honored man I mean this has been such a like you said you you text I was not in the gym when you text but we were up uh, <laughs> we were promoting our our last record we were up in Canada and I remember that text and I immediately thought huh I'm a huge fan I know we know all of your music this could be such a great natural fit and wanting to just work together I think selfishly I just kept saying no to the songs because I wanted to get in a room with you and just kind of (laughs) work together because we're huge fans and so but I'm so proud I'm and looking around this zoom call too I'm sure everybody feels this way I just cannot wait for our fans to hear this whole project I mean when we're when we're out at shows I'm sure y'all y'all feel this way too. There's there's moments in these shows that can feel like worship in these amphitheaters. You know, we have we do songs like We Do Thy Will and Hello World and I Run to You and a lot of our music that talks about love. And I just cannot wait to play this song in that same set list of mm-hmm. having fun, celebrating life and love and relationships. 
and then celebrating God. And, and I'm excited to share with our fans who we believe he is and excited for them just to see that from us as believers to just share that. And like you said, Chris, so well said, like such a time to just be putting this out right now. I'm just so proud and cannot wait for the fans to have the entire thing in their hands. So oh. thank you for having us, man. Thank Bro, you. It's so good. And um, when we were, you know, when I think about all the songs and we think about how it evolved and who should be a part of it, I remember us kicking around. Uh, I remember Tyler and I just talking about, oh, we should have Russell on this record, Russell. And, uh, <laughs> and I was like, well, it's gonna, you guys are gonna not gonna believe this, but <laughs> you're talking about full circle. And I just, I'm not even gonna say it, Russell, you take it, because you wanna talk about full circle of all things yeah. on this record. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I mean, like we all did, like T-Hub, BK, Chris Lane, like, and dude, I mean, Corey was a Christian artist, so you know Corey looked up to you. Uh, you know, we all, we all led. We all look up to Corey in height. <laughs> so, I mean, like, we all, like, I learned your songs. That's how I learned to play guitar, you know? Like, that's how, you know, and that was my first times on stage that was, like, plywood in front of my youth group, you know, playing your songs. And that was all of us. And, uh, but what the, the craziest part is, so I graduate, I'm no longer, you know, leading for a youth group, and I'm just kind of like, my freshman year, man, I'm just kind of like lost. And like, I didn't really, I wasn't doing music. I was like in a metal band. I'm like, I had no clue what I was doing, dude. And so my buddy was like, Hey man, I, I might have an opportunity. And sure enough, I was 19 years old and they're like, you got the gig, man. And so I dropped out of college to be Chris Tomlin's guitar tech on the road. <laughs> like, I mean, I was first wow, up, again. last down. Wow. Bro, I was I was up 8 a.m. unloading trucks, <laughs> setting up lights, changing guitar wow. strings. Dude, it was like it was the most grunt, like hard hands work that I've ever done. And dude, I would I wouldn't I wouldn't change it for the world, man. Because and Chris, I really I haven't really gotten a chance to tell you this much in depth. Is like being on tour with you at 19 gave me a vision for the rest of my life. Mm. Like it gave me a vision of what my music, I could cry just talking about it, dude. It's like be seeing how you toured and seeing how, you know, it could be a giant arena and filled with people and praising Jesus. And like, you know, we all do country music, but you know, we all consider that worship too. You know, like we're, we're walking in God's call in our life. But touring with you gave me a vision for the rest of my life. And I was in a van playing country music for five, six years, man. But being on a tour bus with you, that was the light at the end of the tunnel. It was like, I know what it's like to tour in a bus. And I will, by God, get to that point <laughs> of where it's sustainable. And I'm not, I'm not driving it from, you know, midnight to 4 a.m. and eating Taco Bell. It's like. I know I can get to this place of being on a bus. So being being on tour with you, bro, that was what I held on to my entire career. And I will always hold on to, to that, you know, just vision and inspiration getting to tour with you, man. RD, wasn't there a funny story from tour? Bro, there, there's it's like the one a about lot of something stories. about you were worshiping. You like, you, yeah. you slipped up. You slipped up. Let me tell it. Let me tell it. All right. I'm, All right. I'm, we're, on the, we're, in the, we're at a festival. And uh, at this festival, this all you know outdoor festival, and and Daniel, my guitar player, his guitar, the amp starts smoking. It's like smoke's coming up, something's going on. <laughs> like it's probably you know it's probably hundred and something degrees, and he, and it's just things are going falling apart on stage. And so I'm looking over to Russell to like help. We're we're, we're falling apart on stage, and I remember looking at Russell, finding trying to find Russell, and he's just like this. <laughs> brave. <laughs> Oh, oh, I was I was in the third heaven, just lost in the present. <laughs> That's the only acceptable answer for you not doing your job, <laughs> dude. Man, honestly, dude, I, I that that was the tour, man. I I honestly going into it, I had no idea what I was doing. Like the front of house guy, we were flying out to the first gig, and the front. of house 
Russ gone. He gone. <laughs> the, the <laughs> Feels like we've lost a like a close friend. <laughs> oh, there he went. Uh, there. No, no. Hey, if you guys get jump off, like please, anytime. Um, I know uh, Tyler BK. I know y'all have other things to get to, but um, just it's it's awesome and just just being able to share this story and be able to use this and like let people know your hearts, right? And let people like hear like what's behind all this music and what's behind, um, you know, what you guys are doing in Corey. We haven't really got to chat yet. And I just want, I want to take, take some time just to talk about this. And if any of you guys need to go, please feel free. Oh. But if you want to stay on, love, I love it. But um, guys, I've got to jump. I love y'all. TBK. <laughs> all of soon. Bye. Yeah. I'm going to hop off, too, because I hear a twin screaming. So, <laughs> love you all. <laughs> Thank you so much. And um, I can't wait for the world to hear this. You're the best. Absolutely. Bye, y'all. See y'all. head out. Cassidy. Hi, guys. Love you. Hi, Cassidy. Cassidy, what's up? Thanks for having me. It's good to see you guys. I love this. I, I love this. Thanks for joining us for a minute. We've just been talking about the record and talking about everything that's coming out. And uh, where are you? I can't. I'm in um, a, a warehouse in Nashville shooting some some video content for my acoustic album. Okay. So it's weird to actually like be working. It's it's nice. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Everybody's wearing masks. Everybody's social di socially distant. But yeah. This is a perfect um perfect moment. You jumping in because we've been talking kind of the record, kind of talking the songs, and when I think about um you joining us and obviously it's connected, and I'll I'll let uh, Corey share too about Corey connected me to you and uh, we had this song of uh, be the moon and it's to me it's one of the most uh, foundational songs on the record because of like what it's saying and I think what's up RD back and all, right. all good um, you need to pay your internet bill but um, <laughs> wait for these songs to come out so I can get a check <laughs> <laughs> so, but we so we, we got be the moon you know and um yeah this this idea of i remember us talking about it and we kind of talked about this idea with almost everybody who's been on the album just being a light in a moment to be, to be a light to the world and how the moon i love this idea how the moon doesn't really have any light on its own it doesn't produce any light it just reflects a greater light right it just gets in the right place when the moon gets and the moon's not striving to be anything other than it is. And I think when you're talking about faith, when we're talking about our faith, when we're talking about the essence of what this is about, you know, I think a lot of people strive to be something or feel like they have to prove something. And the beautiful thing of the song is um, there's you know, that line, everybody wants to be somebody. I want to be somebody too. But if I'm going to be known for something, I want to be known for you. And it's this idea of just, man, just all you got to do is just be a light, be a light to the world, shine a light of the world. And I love that this record is doing that so many different ways and touching people's lives and that people did not see coming and i just want to thank you cassidy for putting your voice on this because it just it's incredible the harmonies and everything i mean you're an amazing singer but that you would come in not knowing me not really me just going on you know going on Corey's uh trust and it means a lot so thank you thanks for having me it was i mean when you explained what the song really meant and what the out the whole concept was about um when you told me that and the, the the backstory behind be the moon and um what it meant i just i was so excited to be a part of that song in particular but the project in general so thanks for having me be a part of a small part of it i appreciate it you're awesome and corey yeah. like, like bro let's just talk about this you are like the linchpin of this record i mean you like put this thing together like in such an incredible way. I remember when, when we first met, I uh, was, I, 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 like I said earlier, it was like, this guy's a genius. Who, who is this guy? And I'd love for you to tell a little bit of your story and like where you, you, you got and how and, and all the things that, you know, are happen that have happened. And, and I want people to know like that you, there's always a genius behind the record, right? We, as artists, we make this music, we make this music, but there's, there's the people behind the scenes that, that people maybe not know. We get all the credit for it. But like, where would any of us be, right? We would without someone who's so incredible and so gifted. And so, I, Corey, thank you, man, for putting your heart and soul in this. And it's our first record to do together. And yeah, how special. Man, I uh, 
I told you this, this was life changing for me. I mean, working on this record during quarantine too was kind of, I mean, it was crazy. It was such a blessing to my family over here in songs, you know, and like my kids singing them. It was just constant reminders of to uh, keep my head and my heart in the, in the right place and staying thankful and grateful. And in a time where, you know, it's just a weird unknown time. So I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful for uh, just getting to know you and making music that has, you know, never existed you know i mean this was this was uncharted territory like you say and um it was cool i felt like i was along for the ride too man i really did um i couldn't be any more proud of all the songs and the way they sound the way they feel they you know we, it was cool to learn you know in in our genre a lot of times it it uh it's always about feel but in our genre a lot of times it's about how it hits and how it sounds and it was really Cool for me to kind of open myself up to a new way and, and going well it, it's important for it to hit and sound cool but I, it needs to move me you know and make me make me uh think about the lyrics and really want to to sing them and, and not distract me from that you know and the message and so it was a really man i learned so much from you and i learned so much from everybody that that we worked with and uh it was challenging putting four lead singers on a song you know or two lead singers i mean None of us had ever done that, you know, more than once or twice, you know, in random circumstances. So to have, you know, all these gigantic, amazing voices and find places for them. And it was just so, so fun. I, I really, I miss working on it. I'm ready for part two. You're so kind, man, in the way you did it. And I love that uh, you guys can hear this because some, because I would like, especially, um, yeah, the, so Corey and I'd be in there, right? And Tyler, he had, he had left or some maybe gone for the day. And I was still in there. And I was like, man, I really want to sing that verse. And um, so let me sing like the first verse of Forever Home. I really, I mean, I just love that song. So I was like, I want to sing it. Then I would sing it. And Corey, it's in, his, in his just really kind way, be like, yeah, we're going, we're going to leave Tyler on that. It's good. That's <laughs> 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 okay. You might want to give it another shot. If you want to give it another shot, that's fine. But look, I, I got dinner. It's, I got dinner at six and, and we, we got, I think it'd be good if we leave. It was just, you were always trying to find the puzzle pieces, right? The, the, yeah. the genius of trying to put like me, uh, like us and Lady A, right? There's three, there's four singers. Yeah. Like you're trying to find where does everybody fit and how do people fit in these songs and your genius of knowing, no, this is a special sauce, man. It, this is, and that, that's so. You I will say, I was going to say that too. This, this project really helped us master the craft of, collaborating you know i mean we we've done it here and there but i feel like overall as an artist and as a producer watching watching crowder like you said put all the pieces together just right to where everybody's voice gets heard and being able to do that and produce that sound is difficult you know what i mean so i think it was fun and to pick well we can't every every song can't be laid out and structured the same so this song needs to why don't why doesn't the feature -er start the song as opposed to ct or why don't we put ct here and it was just every song still remained uh unique and special and i don't know props to you crowder because i think you crushed that and it was a fun process for me too to get to just feel like we're just working on the craft of uh collaborating you know and not writing together and and putting the voices where the voices need to be put you know it's awesome yeah man man i also loved <clears throat> i don't know i just loved the involvement from each artist that was a part of this like you say chris i i don't think you can emphasize enough how everybody cared about this more than normal you could tell everybody every artist that was a part of this needed it and it meant something to them and they prioritized it and when they got there they spent time and we spent time hanging, get to know each other, and really, uh, I don't know, just putting their fingerprint on it. It's cool, it just sounds like the perfect blend of every every artist that's on there. It just sounds like it could live in either world, and I I love that. As a music listener, that's appealing to me. It's It just it kind of appeals to a few sides of it, you know? Yeah, absolutely. I want to say real quick, Cassie, I know you're, you're, uh, you get your- Tony just came around the corner, that's weird you just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're in the middle of something and you, you can you can jump off whenever you want. I'm so but. happy I got to do this though. I'm I'm so happy to see you all. I wish it could be in person, but it's this I know. 
amazing that you're doing this. And thank you. Thank you so much for having me a part of this album. It's so special, and I can't wait for people to hear it. Oh, you're the best. Yeah. Love you, guys. Love you, Cass. Good to see you. Yeah. Bye, everybody. All right. See ya. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to need to jump to, I, I can tell it's uh, parent time. Hey. <laughs> there you go. I'll do What's it. Up? See you soon. Life is crazy. Oh, there's a, there's old Ray Lynn. Let me introduce <laughs> to Ray Lynn. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> uh, love everybody. I didn't know when I was, I didn't know when I was allowed to jump on. Hey, Ray Lynn, anytime you want to jump on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> you run the show. Um, I miss you guys. Oh, so I got to jump myself. See you, Lane. See you, Chris. See you, Lane. Hi, Chris. What's up, Ray Lynn? How are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Tell your wife I love her. I will, baby. Ray Lynn says she loves you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks again. I appreciate it. I'm Chris, so grateful Chris, to be a part Chris, of this. Chris, seriously, bro. Awesome to have you on there and just so fired up about everything that's going on in your career and just exploding. And Chris is awesome. You're awesome, bro. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice Chris. mustache, Chris. It's pretty cool. I, I, got the, I got the little stash going on. And I wanted to add one more thing. This is the first record that I've ever recorded where I also got to sing some some harmonies and I've never mm -hmm. done that ever in my I entire can. life. And I had so much fun. Corey would sing the line. He's like, you need to sing this harmony because I, I don't have like a great ear for that. Um, but he was patient with me. I'm very thankful for that. Thank you, Corey, for your patience. And, and Crushed it, man. Crushed it. How to do the harmony stuff. I'm gonna start doing that a lot more. You got to, man. <laughs> you did a good job, baby. When I start when I start sucking at harmonies, I'm just like Corey. You're gonna have to figure somebody else for this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right on, y'all. Well, thank you very much. Good to see you, Russ. You too, bro. All right, fellas and ladies. Yo, I'll I'll hop off here too and let y'all hang with Ray Lynn. Hey, finish up what you were gonna say a minute ago before you hop off. Oh yeah, before uh, they cut my cable off. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you remember? You remember? You remember where you were? I can't remember what you were saying, but it was, it was really good. I can't remember. It um, was. I don't know. I got. I, I got. I got most of it. Hey, I appreciate the things you said, though. I appreciate the very kind words, buddy. Oh, dude. You gotta figure Seriously, it out. I mean it. You always just I drop nuggets it. of wisdom. So you gotta no, figure Russ, out what you were saying. Come on. Russ, amazing, man, and just uh, and like I said to Chris, and while y'all are both on here, man, am I if I ever if I'm ever cheering somebody on, it's you, bro. Because uh, I just, you know, 19 years old on the bus of me till to now see you a country superstar is just yeah. the almost awesome thing, man. And so, so thanks, bro. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, man. And I always, man, I appreciate the, the guidance and the patience and, you know, <laughs> all the wisdom that you've poured into me throughout the years, too, man. So it's invaluable. Love you, buddy. You too, man. Hey girl, let's uh, let's talk about this chase me down and awesome with just me and you and Corey talking about it. Um, I've been talking. I've been talking. I said I've been talking about interviews about this and uh, this song, and I remember Tyler sending me when this project was happening. I remember he said, "Hey, there's this song that's kind of been around our camp or our, for a little bit, and I want you to hear this demo." And he sent it to me, and instantly I thought. Okay, who's singing this? First of all, this—it's just so on, the voice is so honest and amazing. And then the, and then it got to the chorus, and I was like, "Good night! What what an incredible, incredible song!" And we knew instantly we got to figure out how to, how to do this. And so, I love that there's no rules on this record, and I think this song shows me more than anything there are no rules because you would think of if it's a Chris Tomlin record, then I'm singing and Ray Lynn sings a harmony, but it's you. It's just you, and I'm singing a harmony, and I'm barely in there, and, and I like it that way. And it's just you. And I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I just, I just want you to talk about the song a little for a minute, and just because this is going to really touch people, because to me, the song on this record that it really speaks to the grace of God more than any song is this song. Well, this song... Um... I know a lot of you guys know, but I, I grew up in church. Um, I very much like um, know a lot about the Bible and what, what Jesus says and how he loves us and how much he cares for us. But 
I think one thing that does show the grace of God is one thing it's easy to forget is when you're so far wrapped in your own mind of, of am I living right? Am I doing the right thing? Am I handling this right? And in the darkest time in your life, like God will meet you right there. And that's what this song is about. And I got the idea from my, my, my mom, she was at this, um, my mom's a pastor and she was at this uh, conference and this woman was talking about this uh, girl that, that had become recently saved and God met her in her deepest just time in her life. And she was telling this woman, she was like, I just cannot believe that God would chase me this, chase me down this far into my sin. And when my mom told me that, um, God, I just started weeping. Cause I was just thinking about, I was like, that's genuinely the grace of God. It doesn't matter. You feel like you have to go to church to meet or find Jesus or for him to come and find you again. But that's not, that's not what, what Jesus is about. He'll meet you wherever you're at and he'll wreck your life in the best way. And, and that's what I wanted this song to represent is, you know, why do I do things I hate? Why do I say things that I shouldn't say? Cause we all can fall in and out of it all the time. And, uh, but Jesus is still just, you know, a prayer away and just right there all the time. And so I just, I think this song really has a beautiful human element to it that, um, I was so excited that you loved it because when when I heard you were doing this project, I was like, gosh, Chase Me Down would be such a cool song. Um, but I wonder if it's too like literal. Like I was like, I wonder if it would work. Like I didn't know, like, but to see it take a life of its own and to see what you did with it, Corey, like when I was in the studio, I was tearing up. I tear up every time I listen to it. And it's just because it's just such a powerful song. And um, and it really just shows my heart for for people and for what I want just anybody to know doesn't matter what walk of life they're in right now is, is God's just right there you know and I think that's this song really represents that yeah I remember that there's a line in the song in the chorus that just every time you sing it and every time I hear it when I'm lost and I'm low in a place that I think you won't go yeah. you, chase, you chase me down and how many of us are there I mean yeah. a, anybody watching this um in that place have felt that i mean that's the human thing of like well, could god really hear my prayers if i really pray could i mean of all the things i've done of what i think of if god really if people knew what i think when i'm lost and i'm low in a place i think you won't go you chase me down wow that's just so beautifully said and corey i mean the, you, the way you captured this song i mean the, when i've sent it to people they're like that's one of the most haunting sounds the way the song sounds the lyric the the, the production of it it's just it's, it's beautiful and 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 you taught me how to sing harmony as well <laughs> <laughs> oh man well thank you I, I just try to get out of the way of that lyric that lyric is so good and that melody like you say is so haunting and it's so relatable and knowing uh you Raylan just amazing amazing one of my favorite songs uh I've gotten to work on for Raylan which is we've done a, a good bit of stuff now but that was one that uh, got me to tears just just editing it you know and here with headphones on so powerful mm -hmm. stuff and one thing I've realized like as a creative you have to create where your heart's at and that's one like advice I always give to somebody who's a new songwriter like that day that I wrote the song with Josh Kerr and Hannah Ellis we were going to write some sassy country song which is totally up my alley that's what I wanted to write <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't on my heart that day. Like I was so like caught up in the story and like, you know, I just got done praying. And th this was the mode that I was in and I couldn't get there. And I tried <laughs> and I told him, I said, y'all, and I literally said, this is probably never going to get cut, but I have to write this today. I literally said that. And it's the one worship song I write all year gets cut on the Chris Tomlin records. So I'm like, well, Jesus, what are you trying to tell me here? Okay. I like this. Oh. Like, <laughs> But it was, it was just funny. You, that's why you literally have to listen and just follow where a mood is going because you never know what's, where it's going to end up. You mm. got to trust your gut. That's Ray right. Lynn, there's something really awesome. Lean back just a little and boom. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's been happening for, right? Lean Do forward. I have horns? <laughs> it was perfect. You just lined up just perfect. It would have been a, a great shot. <laughs> I swear I have a halo, okay? Yeah, it's a halo. Oh, I know you do. 
I know you do. Well, thank you, Raylan, for being on this record. And I'm excited for people to hear this because um, in the, I think it'll be a, a really one of the ones that stop people in their tracks when they hear this song. And I played it, we did this morning with all of Capital. Um, I did a, um, the whole crew, we did a, we did a Zoom of, the, of everybody in the building and I shared just thanking them for helping me put this together, this record and what it takes in everybody's in everybody's roles, right? And I, so I got to play a couple songs. I said, I'm gonna play you six, like two songs. And Chase Me Down was one of them, um, of all the songs. Cause I said, I think that, cause I, I said, these are, maybe there's a couple songs you haven't heard in this and this is one I want you to hear. And uh, and it was beautiful, the re people's reaction. And I know it'll be the same for everybody who hears this. Thank you, gosh, it makes me so happy. I just love it when, um, I love it when a song finds its home in the most beautiful way. And I think this, I know for a fact that this song was meant to be on your record and that was its home. Like it's the proper way for it to be represented. And I personally, like you've been such an inspiration in me and my family, Chris, like we love you. And your songs are played throughout my house, throughout my life, throughout my childhood, throughout my walk with the Lord. And to be a part of this with you and um, to get to know your family and your wonderful wife and to really feel like family with you guys. It's been a dream come true for me. You have no idea. You've y'all walk the walk and I just, I love you guys. Y'all are awesome. And I'm just so grateful for not only this to be part of this record, but for the relationship that, that we all have now. It's awesome. Thank you. Well, I appreciate you joining us. Thanks for joining us for a minute and connecting and everybody's going to hear it soon. Dude, I'm so excited. <laughs> It's going to yeah. be awesome. Well, I love you guys, Corey. You, Ray. I like your picture with the right to the right of your head. Oh, thanks. That's, I, I wish I could I, take credit for that. That's every time I see that, I was going to tell Lenny, I'm going to take that right off her wall. It's right at my alley. <laughs> it is right up your alley. Well, I love you guys. Thank you so much for having me on. And I can't wait for Friday. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Bye, y'all. Thanks, you, Ray. So that was awesome. And talking to my, these amazing friends who've made this record and I cannot believe this record's coming out in just a few hours. And thanks for tuning in. All of you who tune in and listen to this, I hope you've been encouraged. I hope your faith is encouraged um, at what that God is doing and he can do amazing things, put amazing things together when we didn't see it coming. And especially in this season of what we're in, I hope you're just really, really blessed by this music. Um, so here we go. I can't wait to hear what songs you love and what songs resonate with you guys. God bless you.